What is going on guys? My name is the California Cougar and welcome to what will most likely be the final episode of Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire Team Blaziken Edition. So, last time we completed most of the post-game quests, we went on the SS title, we did the final trick house puzzle, and we searched for and caught the Eon Pokemon Latios. So, we just have one more thing to do. Now, first things first, I want to show you guys my team here real quick. So, I decided to pick up some of the legendaries. I picked up the three Reggies. I also picked up Kyogre. And then I kept Icarus and Columbus on my team. Mainly so that we can surf and fly. So, what we're going to do now is we want to fly to Pacific Log Town. Alright. I also put various items on Pokemon, so... My Lodex got the smoke ball here, and trust me, that's an item that you're gonna want. And then leftovers, shell bell, never melt ice on Kyogre, focus band, and lax incense. I also taught Kyogre Blizzard and Thunder. I got rid of Hydro Pump and Body Slam, respectively, just because I feel like Blizzard and Thunder are gonna be a lot more useful here. So, yeah. So. Yeah, I'm probably going to switch some of the items around. I took a couple out of the PC that I wanted. And I also bought some Max Repels as well. I think I have like 20 Max Repels. The other thing you're going to want is the Mock Bike. If you have the Acrobike, make sure to switch and get the Mock Bike before coming down here. So yeah, I also have Quick Claw, Mystic Water. I also bought an Escape Rope, just in case we need that for any reason. Alright, so, yeah, I bought up to 20 Max Repels, so, now we want to make our way onto Route 131. <laughs> and you'll kind of see this maze of rocks here, you kind of just want to follow it. And then just keep going up here, and eventually, we'll run into this plot of land, and we have a cave here. Alright, so this is Sky Pillar. This is the final area of the game that we have yet to explore. So... Yeah, we're going to make our way into this little building here. And then, let's see, I believe I have my highest level Pokemon up front, right? Yeah, my Lodic and Icarus are both at 47. I could have brought Donphan for that, but I don't really feel like Donphan's going to be useful here. So, we'll just make our way up here. Alright, so this is what you need the mock Bike here for. You need it to kind of just speed across these cracks here. So it's very similar to that spot in Granite Cave that we went to. And then you want to kind of do that, and then just make, make your way up here. So yeah, it can be a little bit tricky, especially with the turns that you have to make. And then I believe, I don't know if you have to like straight shot this one. Okay, doesn't look like it. This part's tricky though, you have to go... I missed it. You're supposed to go in the middle path. Oh. I guess my repel fails. Okay. God damn it. Yeah, so this is why you want the smoke ball. The wild Pokemon in here are at a pretty high level. So, yeah, I put the smoke ball on because the smoke ball, if a Pokemon is holding it, it guarantees that you're going to run. And trust me, you're going to want to be fully healthy for this upcoming battle. Ah, god damn it. I might have to do this off camera. The uh, wild freaking Pokemon showing up. Repel's not working. Alright, yeah, I hate, I hate navigating through here simply because of this. Alright. Okay. Damn it! God damn it! You're, you're supposed to go in the middle path. Alright, let's try this again. I'm gonna have to do this off camera, I think. It's just so hard to control when I have my DS just laying down here like this. Alright. Ah, damn it. If I hadn't hit that rock. Alright, I'll give it a couple more attempts. If I fail to do it, I'm just going to do it off camera. Okay. 
Okay, this is the Pokemon that you mainly want to run away from. And by the way, if you if you're having trouble catching Latios, then Golbat would be a good Pokemon to catch. You can catch it in here at a pretty high level. It should know the move Mean Look. And if you use that, it'll prevent Latios from escaping. Ah! I keep hitting the damn rock! Oh my god. This is going to take forever. I need to... One more attempt. If I fail on the next attempt, then I'm going to do it off camera and I'll cut back to when I finally do it. Alright. Come on, dude. Can I go five seconds without running into a wild Pokemon? Uh. This is why you bring the smoke ball, because Pokemon like Golbat will keep you from running away. Alright, yeah, we're gonna cut. See you guys in a couple minutes. Alright guys, we did it. That did not take long at all. So, we'll just make our way up here. So yeah, the goal is to get into like those center two cracks there that are right below me. Yeah, the goal is to get into those two center cracks. So you don't want to like overshoot, but you don't want to undershoot either. And to do that, you have to go basically from the right entrance there all the way around in one go. It's annoyingly difficult. But we made it up there. Now it's just about getting up there without running into any more freaking wild Pokemon. <sighs> Stupid Sableye. Yeah, your repels just are straight up not going to work because... You can find Pokemon as high as, like, level 60, I believe, or something like that. I think 60 is the highest that you can find. Alright, so... Just keep making our way up here. Alright. And there we go. Alright, so, now I'm gonna switch items around here. I want to give him the Quick Claw. And let's see. What other items do we have here? Quick Claw on you. I think that's fine. Alright. Yeah, I think we're good for now. The only other change I'm going to make is we're going to lead off with Kyogre. Alright, here we go. So we're going to come up here. We're going to save the game. Make sure you save. And the other thing I did was I also bought a ton of Pokeballs. I bought a bunch of Ultra Balls and Timer Balls. And I'll show you guys here real quick. Yeah, so 50 Ultra Balls, 30 Timer Balls. That's what I have. Here we go. Let's talk to this thing. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to Rayquaza. Alright, so Rayquaza... This thing's at level 70, so yeah, super high level. It's a dragon flying type, and it knows the moves Fly, Rest, Extreme Speed, and Outrage. So, probably one of the most frustrating movesets to deal with. So we're going to go for a Blizzard here. Alright, he's going to use Fly. So yeah, Fly is one of his more powerful moves. We're going to hit him with a Blizzard once he hits me with Fly. Look how much damage that did. That did an insane amount of damage. But yeah, Blizzard will be four times super effective, so this should do a lot, considering he's 25 levels higher than me. Alright. So it didn't quite get him to where I wanted him to be. So I think we're going to use Thunder to try and get him down. Okay, well, Thunder can hit Pokemon that are flying. Of course, this misses. Alright, and I'm also going to heal here. I have Hyper Potions, so... Yeah, Thunder can hit Pokemon that are flying, usually. Ooh, he missed. Nice. Whoops, no, not that. Alright. Okay, so there's Extreme Speed. That's another pretty powerful move. It's a priority move. 80 base power. This shouldn't do quite as much damage as Fly did. Alright. 
So this should get him right down into the red, I think. And there we go. Perfect. It would have been nice if it had paralyzed, but it didn't. So now it's time to start chucking Ultra Balls at this thing. Alright, that didn't work. Alright, so there's Extreme Speed. Extreme Speed only has 5 PP. But it is pretty powerful on this thing. Alright, so I'm going to send in Regirock here, because Regirock resists both Fly and Extreme Speed. That Drizzle is going to make it rain forever. Ah, oh, that would have been so clutch if we had caught it on the second ball. Outrage, okay. So Outrage is easily his most dangerous move. It does a ton of damage. It's his main special attack. It's a Dragon-type move. We're going to send in Reg Ice because it'll be able to tank it. So Outrage is kind of like Pedal Dance, where it'll use it... It's like Pedal Dance and Thrash, where it'll use it for like two or three turns, and then it becomes confused. So this is actually kind of dangerous because, yeah, this thing can kill itself in its confusion. In addition, it also knows rest, which will fully heal itself and get rid of any status conditions. So, yeah, com combine rest with the fact that it can literally kill itself in confusion. And this thing is a recipe for being easily the most frustrating po Pokemon to catch in the game. Other than Latios, of course. Alright, so that's going to be Outrage number two. Yeah, and I live it because I've got that special defense. So he's not confused yet, so he's going to have one more. Alright, that didn't work. Alright, so... I'm going to send in my Lodic here, in case he goes for rest. Yeah, this thing can sweep through a team pretty easily. Alright, so now he's confused, so... Actually, I, said, I should have sent out Altaria. Of course, he probably kills Altaria right away. But I, I could have used Sing. Alright, so we'll try another Ultra Ball here. Yeah! Let's go! Mmm! That's the nicest Rayquaza has ever been to me, I think. Let's freaking go. Oh, that's amazing. Alright, so we caught Rayquaza. That was way easier than I was expecting it to be. Alright, so first things first, I'm saving my damn game because I don't want to accidentally reset it. But yeah, we just caught Rayquaza, I think, in like five Ultra Balls. It never used Rest, which was nice. It never had a chance to hurt itself in confusion. Five Ultra Balls, that's all it took. I'm impressed. All right, so I don't know if I can fly out of, ooh, I can fly, okay. So I guess I didn't need to buy that escape rope. All right, so, yeah, we'll go to Pacific Log real quick. I didn't know you could fly from there. I, th I always thought you had to use an escape rope. But yeah, so, we just caught Rayquaza, and yeah, normally this thing is very difficult to catch. It, I was fully expecting it to just troll the hell out of me by killing itself in confusion. But yeah, like, I love how Kyogre and Rayquaza were both, whoops, didn't mean to do that, were both fairly nice to me. Well, at least Rayquaza was. Kyogre still almost swept through my team, but I caught it in only five Ultra Balls. And yet, the freaking Reggies were a pain in the ass to catch. Alright, so... First things first, let's get the team back together. Alright, and I'm going to rearrange it a little bit. So we'll put Blaziken up front, because who was the first? Actually, I want the items. I forgot to take the items off. Alright. Yeah, I totally forgot to take the items off. Alright. So yeah, let's take that from you. No, actually not you. You. Alright. There we go. 
Alright, so I'm gonna put the Pokemon in the order that I caught them in. So Blaziken is obviously first. And then, let's see, Gardevoir was second, I believe. And then, we didn't get a new team member for a while, but Icarus was third, Armaldo, Rex the Armaldo was fourth, so, switch him around, you were fifth, you were third, and then finally, we have our Dawn fan. Alright, and then the last thing I want to do is we'll rearrange it so that we have all the legendaries together. And then we'll put you there. And actually, yeah, I want to switch you with you. There we go. Alright, so let's take a look at all our legendaries real quick. So this is Kyogre, Impish Nature, kind of a trash nature for a Kyogre, honestly. It's, I believe that's plus defense minus special attack. But yeah, those are its stats. Obviously it's a monster, especially in the special department. And there's Latios, good special defense, pretty good special attack and speed. It's got a gentle nature, I believe that's... Plus special defense, minus defense, or it could be the other way around. Let me double check, actually, what those natures are. Let's see, Pokemon natures. Gentle is either... Okay, gen yeah, gentle is plus special defense, minus defense. Okay, that's what I thought. Lack, I, I, I always get that one mixed up with lax. Lax is minus special defense, plus defense. Alright, so here's Rayquaza. Very good physical attacker, pretty good special attacker as well. Although, I can tell already that that is a minus special attack nature. I mean, it has to be. Yeah, it's also impish. <laughs> but yeah, good special. Usually has pretty good special attack. Good defense, good speed. All around just a beast of a Pokemon. And then Regirock. Obviously very good physical defense. Pretty good physical attack. Yeah, that's a brave nature, so that's plus attack minus speed. Pretty good nature for a Regirock. Here's Regice. It's a naughty nature. I believe that's plus attack minus special defense. Yeah, that's plus attack minus special defense. And then, yeah, not a great nature for a Regice. And then you have Registeel, which is all around pretty good. That's minus special attack for sure, though. Adamant, yeah, plus attack minus special attack. So, yeah. And then here's Beldum. Careful nature. Careful is pretty good for a Beldum. That's minus special attack plus special defense. So... That is it. Alright. We'll go ahead and give our items back. And I think we will go ahead... Oops, wrong button. Once we give our items back to everyone, give you the Mystic Water. And I'll give the Quick Claw to Rex. And then, leftovers, we'll give that to Wong. Shell Bell, we'll give that to Blaziken. And then finally, Lax Incense. Give that to Donovan. Alright, so, we're all healed up, I believe. And for the final time, I think we'll finally retire the team. And we will call it a playthrough. So, I think it's only right that we go back to Little Root, where it all started. We've got the team in the order that we caught them in. Alright. So we'll go talk to our mom real quick. Alright. And we'll go ahead up into our room. And what's our time? Alright, so about 7.52 p.m. is what that says, even though that's not what the time is. It's actually about 9.52 p.m. right now. But yeah, we'll head off to bed, we'll save the game one final time. 23 hours, 45 minutes, not too bad for the whole playthrough. Under 24 is pretty good, I would say. Alright, but yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the playthrough. Make sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and if you enjoyed the playthrough as a whole. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more content to come in the future. 
I think by the time this comes out, I don't know if Survivor will have its finale or not. But I think a Survivor 42 review will be will be coming up after this. I think that'll be the next thing. Not sure what else. Don't really have anything else planned at the moment. But either way, stay tuned for my next video. And we're going to go ahead and say one final goodbye to our amazing team here. So start off with Ragnarok. Ragnarok the Blaziken. Our starter. Brave nature. Firefighting type. Got really good attack stat, just all around a solid Pokemon. Speed's a bit low, we had some trouble with that for sure throughout the playthrough where he was getting outsped by a lot of things that are usually slower than him, like Glacia's Walrein and Steven's Metagross, but other than that, Blaziken, very powerful physical attacker. There's his moveset, pretty solid moveset if I say so myself. Gardevoir, won the Gardevoir with its synchronized ability. It's a powerful psychic type, quirky nature, so it's neutral. Very good special attacker, pretty good special defense and speed as well. Just all around a fantastic Pokemon. There's its moveset. I thought about teaching Reflect to it over Shadow Ball, considering Shadow Ball's a physical attack in this gen, and Gardevoir doesn't have the best physical attack in the world, but ultimately I decided not to do that and just kept the moveset as it is. But yeah. Fantastic Pokemon, loved Gardevoir, didn't really get to use him much during the Elite Four, even though I probably could have used it again, particularly against Glacia's Walrein, but still put in some work when he needed to. Altaria, Icarus the Altaria, probably the weakest member of the team unfortunately, but still very useful. Sassy nature, so made use of its good special defense. It was also our main flyer, Dragon type, helped out a lot as well. And it's not to say that Icarus didn't contribute, because he absolutely did. Like, he has a solid moveset with Dragon Claw Fly, Dragon Dance, and Sing. Came up super clutch in that Steven fight when he survived on a focus band against his Metagross and landed a Sing, a, a move with only 55 accuracy usually. But yeah, had like 22 HP left, got hit by Metagross' Psychic, thought it was going to die. Nope, hung on with Focus Ban, got Sing off, allowed Dawn Fan to come in and deliver the killing blow with Earthquake. All around, gotta give Icarus props. Very good Pokemon overall. Again, probably our weakest attacker, especially given its speed was so low, but she st he still did a very good job nonetheless. Alright, Armaldo. Rex the Armaldo with its battle armor ability, rock bug type, very solid physical attacker. Look at that stat, that's very good. Move set, not the best, objectively, but Ancient Power came in handy a few times. Return as well. Dig and Aerial Ace Dig helped us get out of caves when we didn't need to be, the, be there anymore. Aerial Ace was always reliable because it doesn't miss, even when our opponent was using double team or sand attack or something like that on them, we could just switch in our Maldo and use Aerial Ace. So yeah, overall, very strong Pokemon. Made some made some great plays against the Elite Four as well. Loved having you on the team, Rex. Good job. Milotic, our MVP. Columbus the Milotic, for sure, our MVP. It took a long time to find this thing as a Feebass in Route 119, but... Man, was it worth it. Marvel scale, ups defensive suffering, rash nature, fantastic nature for this thing. Great special attack, good special defense, even with the minus special defense nature. Good speed, good defense. Like, just all around a beast of a Pokemon. Surf, Ice Beam, Toxic, Recover. We were able to Toxic stall a lot of things, including Glacius Wall Rain. But, yeah, came, in, came up clutch against Drake with that Ice Beam on Salamence. Recover came in handy a few times against both Steven and Glacia. Just all around our MVP for sure. An absolute beast of a Pokemon. And last but certainly not least, our latest member, Manny the Dawn Fan. With its sturdy ability, was able to stave off, stave off Glacia's sheer cold from her wall rain. Brave nature, great nature for it, considering it's already a slow Pokemon as it is. Look at that attack stat, man. Absolutely fantastic physical attack. Was able to hit hard with moves like Earthquake and Hyper Beam, and even roll out an Iron Tail a couple times. Actually, did I ever use Iron Tail? I don't even know. But, yeah. Overall, just a great Pokemon for our team. 
And yeah, that is the team. So it's official, guys. This team is officially retired. And that is going to do it for Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire Team Blaziken Edition. So once again, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this. Make sure to hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed it. Make sure to hit the subscribe button um, for more content to come in the future. And yeah, that's all I really have to say. So... I hope, again, I hope you guys really enjoyed the playthrough, and until my next video, once again, my name is the California Cougar, and always remember to stay California cool. Peace!